This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If it's time to get back in the swim of things, then Lexus wants this to be the vehicle to get you there. The ISC convertible is the luxury maker's latest attempt to attract younger clients. It is the third part of the ISC series, which is nearly a sub-brand within Lexus. Smaller than the midsize ES350 and even the hybrid HS250H, the vehicle is in essence a date car with a back seat. It also creates an entry in the four-passenger hardtop convertible segment where Lexus was getting bested by BMW, Volvo, Chrysler, and even Pontiac, who were already there. And in a break with the traditional way of thinking for Lexus, the company is encouraging buyers to consider customizing the ISC with everything from engine modifications to aftermarket wheels, because that's where the money is. One of the things that I'd like to do is expand our wheel products a little bit better, because um, you know we find that some of our competitors do an excellent job with wheels and we want we want to compete in that market. For those who want the familiar, then the ISC has a lot of that with navigation and sound systems that have a track record in Lexus products. Now remember we said this is a four passenger car? Well the back seat may not accommodate a professional athlete, but it does offer a comfortable space and relatively simple access. As for trunk space, with the top up you can get a moderate sized suitcase or maybe three medium duffel bags back there. The drivetrain is an off-the-shelf configuration, including a rear-wheel drive transmission. There are two engine options. One is the 2.5-liter V6, which delivers 204 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. The alternative is the 3.5-liter V6, which yields 306 horsepower and 277 foot-pounds of torque. While they may not be the pavement-burning power plant found in the ISF, they can get a driver in trouble with the police real easily. Lexus has even bowed to the change in entertainment technology in this vehicle with a USB jack built in to accept iPods. It's about time for that. With the ISC, the brand is hoping to be one of the first choices for buyers as the economy tries to revive itself. But this time, they know people won't be making the purchase just to say they own a Lexus. You know, in the early stages of recovery, I think you are going to see more cautious buying. But, you know, we're Americans and, you know, we stay optimistic and we think that the world is going to be a better place every day. And as a result, I think you'll see buying trends reflect that. Until that happens, Lexus will learn to live with smaller sales numbers in the luxury segment. This is Greg Morrison.